my name is Nathaniel Dunaway. I wrote and directed the next play you're about to see. Uh, it's called Candles. I was commissioned to write this play last year by Western Oregon University. They wanted some um, short original plays that they could stage with uh, COVID safety protocols in place. And this is one of the three plays that I wrote for them. Um, Tonight we're staging it as a just seated reading, so you'll have to use your imaginations a little bit. Um, so to help you do that, I'll sort of set the scene. Uh, imagine the lights coming up on a cheap, dimly lit motel room. This is a worse for wear motel somewhere in eastern Oregon. Um, when the lights come up, Reggie, played by Paige Schofield, is asleep on the bed. She is awoken by a knock at the door. She gets up, opens the door to reveal Esme, played by Kathy Rangel. And that is where we start our scene. Thank you. Hey, come in. That's it? Hey, come in. I'm tired, Esme. Do you want me to go? No, I don't want you to go. You're not even gonna hug me? I'm just tired. I've been sleeping. I, I just need to wake up. Okay. I drove 19 hours without stopping. You what? 19 hours? Jesus, Reggie, you don't need to wake up. You need to go back to sleep. I just got an hour in. I'll be all right for a bit. You could have fallen asleep at the wheel driving like that. And I almost did. <laughs> Can't they fire you for driving more than 15 hours? They can fire me for more than 12. 19 hours would probably get me a mystery. That's because it's dangerous, Reggie. Thank you. I know that, Esme. Then why'd you do it? Would you believe it was because I couldn't wait to see you? Maybe if you were acting like you cared that I'm here, but you're not, so no. I do care that you're here. Hey, I care that you're here. You need to get some sleep. I told you, I just got an hour in. Hey, you're feeling better already. You know what an hour of sleep does for me. That's like five hours with an average Joe Blow from Kokomo. <laughs> Come on, I'm rested. Let's start over, okay? Should I go back outside and knock again? <laughs> No, we can skip that part. You just woke up? What? Yeah. Then go brush your teeth first. <laughs> Seriously? I know you sleep with your mouth wide open. You've been breathing in dead skin and cigarette sweat and stranger sweat, or cigarette, stranger sweat and 30 years of cigarette smoke for the past hour. I don't want my tongue in there. My toothbrush is all the way out in the truck. I really don't want to go all the way out to the truck. Wash out in the bathroom sink. You sure? Even if the water comes out brown. <laughs> if you think this room is bad, I'd love for you to get a good look at what the pipes must look like in this place. They turn your hair white. If you're trying to remind me that I think this motel, he could stop. I remember. I'm just saying, baby, the La Quinta. You know why we can't go to the La Quinta. And I don't like baby. Try honey or sweetie or daffodil or something. No baby. Now will you please wash your mouth out so I can kiss you? You know, I remember when these trysts were romantic. Remember those days? Six, six months ago, you would have stuck your tongue in this secondhand ashtray. First thing, guaranteed. Last time I saw you, you even told me you liked how I smelled. Remember? I hadn't showered in three days and you liked it. Those were the days. Shut up, big baby. Oh, so you can call me baby. Did you like it or didn't you? What? The way I smell. Did you like it or not? Okay, I like your pheromones or whatever. I don't like your Mountain Dew and stale motel room breath. Go. <laughs> That's funny you mentioned Mountain Dew, which I don't drink anymore, by the way. I just heard this thing on the radio about this problem going on in the South. They're calling Mountain Dew Mouth. They're giving Mountain Dew to kids in bottles down there. Babies. Like, no money for formula. Everybody's drinking Mountain Dew their whole life, and they're growing up with all these messed up teeth and all these gum diseases. It's this whole thing in Appalachia. Hill people, you know. No money. Food stamps, but never heard of water, I guess. Is this what truckers talk about at all those ugly roadside diners, the weirdest thing they heard on the radio? I mean, sometimes. I wasn't small talk, though. I thought it was, thought it was interesting. It's an interesting anecdote. You know, I was on food stamps for a while. Okay, so was I, but I still know that tap water is better for you than not do. Don't you have family down that way? That's right. Actually, I was born down there. Born down there. North Carolina. So I guess I shouldn't make fun of 
probably got a cousin with a mouthful of crooked green gravestones. Yeah, I'll bet there's a Mountain Dew mouth or two in the Dollar High family. I'm surprised you remember me telling you about my family down south. I remember everything you tell me. That's not true. You're just trying to make me feel guilty. How's that? By implying that I don't remember everything you say. I remember plenty. Like what? Well... I remember what you asked me to do last time. In that bed. You whispered it and I told you to say it louder. I said, don't ask me. Tell me what to do. Tell me what you want. And you did. You told me and I did it. Now the night's gone by that I haven't thought about the sound. Regina! Me. That was part of it. Yes. Stop it! Seriously, I'm trying to have an actual conversation with you and you went from Mountain Dew mouth to horny trucker really fast. You haven't even asked me how I am. That's because I know how you are. You're in a mood. You're the one in the mood! I go open the door and I'm standing there grinning, excited to see you after a month and you're half asleep. Give me a baby, come in. Like I'm La Limpiadora here to change your goddamn sheet. Okay, hey, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How are you? Shut up! Oh my god, Esme, what is this? What are we? This is how people in, like, relationships talk to This you. is a relationship! You know what I mean! But I don't think you know what I mean. I don't want you to ask me something because you feel like you're supposed to. I want you to ask me something because you want to know the answer. I want you to want to know how I'm doing. And I know what that sounds like to you, and I know that's not what you signed up for with this relationship, but this is a relationship, okay? I'm not asking you to meet my mother, Reggie. I just want you to be curious about me the way that I'm curious about you. You've probably driven like 10,000 miles since I saw you last. You, I've driven from home to work to the grocery store to home to the farthest I've driven this, out this month is out here to this piece of crap hotel. This piece of crap hotel that's far enough out of the way that my husband won't happen to drive by and see my car out front. You see the whole country, five to six states a week, maybe more. You're a trucker. You drive for a living. And I don't think you know or care how foreign that is to me. I want to know what that feels like, Reggie. You're like an astronaut compared to what I do all day. Don't you get that? And I love my job, but sometimes, Jesus, sometimes I'll make myself so goddamn sad when I'm at work, just wishing I was out there on the road with you. You never do that, do you? You never wish you were one spot not moving with me, do you? You like this painting? What? This painting, I've always liked it. It's one of the reasons this is our room. I like knowing it's here. People come and go, but that painting stays right there, waiting for us. It's ours. We don't, we don't have a song or a favorite restaurant, you know, but we have this room. We have this painting. I mean, it's nothing special, but sometimes I dream about it. I, I dream I'm in it. It's a nice painting. And I, you're right about what I do. I guess I just forget. It is a pretty interesting job. I'd like to hear about it. All you have to do is ask. That I'm asking. That's what this is. I didn't mean to make it sound like I don't. I want you to think this is just about, you know, sex. Yeah, I know that. Okay, good. But the sex is... I know how it is. You make some sounds, too. That's true. Your southern accent comes out sometimes. Okay, you want to talk about accents? I do things to you that make you speak in a different language. Okay, that's awesome. I miss you. I miss you, too. You look as and beautiful. Will you promise me you won't drive 19 hours straight ever again? I promise. Thank you. And I do, you know. But I wish I was in one spot, not moving. With you all the time. Every 3 a.m. I spend in the cab of that truck, I wish I was here. You lie next to me drooling on my shoulder in your sleep. I wish I was looking at that wall, that painting, that 
up by bars of moonlight coming through the blinds. You really want to hear about the road? Yes. You want to know about all the weird things I've seen people doing in their cars, looking down at them from up on my little perch? Yes, I do. Sometimes people are doing things together, sometimes they're alone. Some of it you can probably guess about. Yes. You want to know about CV codes, trucker slang, what a black guy is, what a cabbage clam is, what truck drivers call a piece of blown tire? An alligator, everybody knows that. You know what a handle is, yeah? Yeah, um, a nickname. You don't use real names on the CV. Um, rusty Nail, uh, Candy Cane, Large Marge, <laughs> Chatty Cathy, Nightcrawler. You don't know what my CV handle is, do you? I didn't think you had one. Of course I do. You want to know what it is? Yes. Do you want to know before or after? After. Try 
honey or sweetie or daffodil or something. No baby. No, you please go wash your mouth out so I can kiss you. You know, I remember when these trysts were romantic. Remember those days? Six months ago, you would have stuck your tongue in the secondhand ashtray. First thing, guaranteed. Last time I saw you, you even told me you liked how I smelled. Remember, I hadn't showered in three days and you liked it. Those were the days. <laughs> Shut up, you big baby. Oh, so you can call me baby. Did you like it or didn't you? What? The way I smelled, did you like it or not? Okay, I liked your pheromones or whatever. I don't like your Mountain Dew and stale motel room breath. Go. <laughs> You know, that's funny that you mentioned Mountain Dew, which I don't drink anymore, by the way. I just heard this saying on the radio about this problem going on in the South. They're calling Mountain Dew Mouth. They're giving Mountain Dew to kids in bottles down there. Babies. Like, no money for formula. Everybody's drinking Mountain Dew their whole life, and they're growing up with these messed up teeth and all these, like, gum diseases. It's this whole thing in Appalachia. Hill people, you know. No money. Food stamps. But never heard of water, I guess. Is this what you truckers talk about at all those ugly roadside diners with beers that you heard on the radio? <laughs> I mean, sometimes, but that wasn't small talk, though. I thought, I thought it was interesting. It's an interesting anecdote. I was on food stamps for a while. Okay, so was I, but I still know that tap water is better for you than Mountain Dew. Don't you have family down that way? That's right. Actually, I, I was born down there. North Carolina. I guess I should make fun of I probably got a cousin with a mouthful of crooked green gravestones. <laughs> Y'all bet there's a mountain dew mouth or two in the taller height family. And I'm surprised you remember me telling you about my family down south. I remember everything you told me. That's not true. You're just trying to make me feel guilty. How's that? By implying that I don't remember everything you say. I remember plenty. Like what? Well, <laughs> I remember what you asked me to do last time in that bed. You whispered it, and I told you to say it louder. I said, don't ask me. Tell me what to do. Tell me what you want. And you did. You told me, and I did it. Not a night's gone by that I haven't thought about the sound that you Regina! That was part of it. <laughs> Stop it! Seriously, I'm trying Right here. And it's ours. 
you don't have a song or a favorite restaurant or whatever, but we have this room. We have this painting. I mean, it's nothing special, but sometimes I dream about it. I dream I'm in it. It's a nice painting. I write about what I do. I guess I just forget it is a pretty interesting job. I'd like to hear about it. All I have to do is ask. I'm asking, that's what this is. I didn't mean to make it sound like, I don't want you to think this is just about, you know, sex. Yeah. I know that. Okay, good. But the sex is pretty. I know how it is. <laughs> You make some sounds too. That's true. <laughs> Southern accent comes out sometimes. If you want to talk about accents, I do things to you that make you speak in a different language. Okay? I, just, uh, I miss you. I miss you too. You look as mildly beautiful. Will you promise me? Um, that you won't drive 19 hours straight ever again? I promise. Thank you. And I do, you know. What? I wish I was in one spot with you. Not moving all the time. Every 3 a.m. I spend in the cab of that truck. I wish I was here. You lying next to me, drooling on my shoulder in your sleep. I wish I was looking at that wall, that painting, lit up by the bars of moonlight coming in through the blinds. <laughs> I really want to hear about the road. Yes. You want to know about all the weird things I've seen people doing in their cars, looking down at them from up on my little perch? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> I mean, sometimes people are doing things together, sometimes they're alone. I mean, some of you can probably guess about. Yes. You want to know about CV codes, trucker slang, what a black guy is, what a cabbage clam is, what a truck drivers call a piece of blown tire, an alligator. Everybody knows that. You know what a handle is, yeah? Yeah, a nickname. You don't use real names on the CV. Um, Rusty Nail, uh, Candy Cane, Large Marge, <laughs> Chatty Cathy Nightcrawler, yeah. You don't know what my CV handle is, you? Didn't know you had one. Of course I do. Wanna know what it is? Yes. Do you wanna know before or after? <laughs> <laughs>